Hi, I'm Dagmar Kress. In this episode, we are going to go behind the wings of the exhilarating and precise flying known as aerobatics. Let's take a closer look at the X, Y, and G, and then we'll go flying to find out what it can do. This is going to be cool. There's the takeoff. Over the aerobatic area. She's going upside down now. Dogmar Kress, here we are. Yeah, thanks so much for being here today. To, to start off, could you introduce yourself? Oh, thanks for having me. My name is Dagmar Kress. I'm a lecturer and an aerobatic coach at MSU Denver. And I'm also a board member here at the museum. And uh, going back 30 years, I've been a flight instructor all my life, really. Our viewers are going to know what aerobatic flight is, but tell me a bit about like what really defines aerobatic flight. Well, everybody has seen an air show, you're right. Everybody knows what that looks like. But the definition per FAA, uh, the definition is anything that pitches higher than 30 degrees or lower. So pitch 30 degrees off the horizontal, any more than that is aerobatic flight. Any roll bank angle more than 60 degrees, so rolling upside down would be aerobatic flight. And if you're doing that in a plane that's not aerobatic, something's probably gone wrong. Well, it's not legal. And uh, in order to fly aerobatics, there are more G-forces on the airplanes and they have to be built stronger. There are some, some more regulations. You cannot be over people. So it has to be out in the open. You have to be at least 1,500 feet off the ground. You cannot be on an airway, things like that. Let's take it back a bit. Like how did aerobatic flight first start? It started early in the 1910s and 20s. There were the, I think they were called barnstormers. Jumping off with parachutes that sometimes fail to open, throwing their frail craft into loops, spins, dives, risking their necks for the benefit of the farmers, shopkeepers, housewives, and children who watched it all on the ground below and they were airshow pilots that flew around to the country fairs and they would charge money to, for the people to come and watch them perform their tricks. They would also take people for rides. You know, 1910s and 20s, we're talking just about a decade after the Wright brothers first flew. For a lot of people, it was maybe the first time they saw a plane and it was kind of just showing off what planes were capable of. Yeah, now that we've learned a bit more about aerobatic flight, what do you think? Should we should we fly this thing? We, we should, I think we should. And, and you will hopefully come out and say, this is the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> All right, so before I go on this aerobatic flight, I've got my puke bag just in case. I hope I don't need it, but to get a little feeling of how it might feel up there doing some loops and spins, I think I want to just test it out in the gyro ball. So this might be worse than the flight. I'm not really sure, but let's give it a shot. You see, I gotta get in the cage here. It's, it's getting serious. It's getting serious. Oh geez, this is like a hostage situation. I'm getting all strapped in. It's free to get on, but if you wanna get off, it's gonna cost. The point of no return. Keith, what's gonna, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be putting stress on your body. We wanna see, you know, it's a different dynamic. So you're gonna get stress on the body. One of the things that we wanna do is also see how fast you recuperate from that stress. Yeah. So when we're done with the flight, take your time getting out. Let's see how you feel and all that good stuff. So you ready for this? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Woo oh, we're going faster. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, I need to figure out which way is up again. All right, I feel a little more confident to try this flight. I've got my puke bag. It's still empty, that's a good sign. I'm heading out to the ramp. Let's go fly this thing with Dagmar. All right, here it is. I've got the parachute on. Let's do this. We've done our safety briefing. There's John in the T-34. He's gonna follow us and we're gonna get some cool air to air footage, so come along for the ride. Thank you. 
Good morning, uh, Experimental Extra 320 Whiskey Kilo, ready for Southeast departure on runway 10. Clear for takeoff. You feel like a, a bird. Imagine you put these wings on you, you stretch your arms out because the plane is so sensitive and it, it is so reactive that wherever you put the control stick, it moves. You just have to think it and it will do it. Hey John, I'm on the way southeast down, down to the uh, aerobatic box. I see you down there. Copy that. I'm in the air. I'm just a few minutes behind you. I'm over the aerobatic area holding at 10,000 feet. Climbing to 10,000 feet. See you there. I see you. You're on my right wing now. I'm with you. I don't think it's dangerous at all. We fly very high, so a good distance, safe distance from the ground is important. So when you are up high at a safe altitude and you fly and you roll it or you fly a loop, it's very freeing, it's, it's very playful. We're going to do a few rolls now, ready? Yep, I'm with you, go ahead. How did that look? It felt good here on my end. That's great. What's next? Next, uh, half roll to invert it. Going upside down now. Hold it there. I'm coming underneath you. John, you lead the next loop. I follow your wing. Okay, I'm going into the loop. So I'll head back home now. Copy that. I'll follow you out. Centennial Tower, good morning again. Experimental Extra 320 Whiskey Kilo, 10 miles southeast over the Pinery, inbound for landing with Mike. I got one ride. That's all it takes. I got a ride. I loved it and I took instruction and uh, got better at it and uh, I started uh, competing. And then I started teaching, and uh, that was back in the early 90s, and I'm still doing it. So I literally can't wipe the smile off my face. We just got back from the aerobatic flight. We did some loops, we did some spins, went inverted, all in the extra NG, Dagmar as pilot. It was super sick, not in the throw-up kind of way. That didn't happen, but wow, what an experience. And it's amazing what these planes can do. All right, well, we've made it to the end of the video, and if you subscribe, thank you so much. If you don't subscribe, just subscribe already. And Dogbar, I've got to say, the flight was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I told you you'd love it, and you did great. In fact, I kind of want to go for one more. Let's go. Can we? All right, Absolutely. let's go.